Hello guys and welcome to a new Industrial Craft 2 tutorial and in this episode we will take a further look to the fuel rods of um, Industrial Craft 2 and the fuel rod is the main source to get out some energy in the nuclear reactor and uh, you can get the fuel rod by um, by the fluid a solid canning machine out of uh, some enriched uranium a nuclear fuel and the uh, uh, enriched uranium fuel is uh, made by a 60 refined uranium and a free tiny pile of uranium so that you also need a macerator to um, get out uh, some crushed um, uranium and um, put it into the furnace to get uh, these nuggets or ingots okay um there are the normal fuel rod, the dual fuel rod, the quad fuel rod, and um, there's also a variant of MOX. And um, yeah, the MOX um, has a lot of more energy um, income in the quad fuel rod, um, and um, uh, but a lower durability. Um, and let's uh, take a look at how it works in practice. Uh, the nuclear reactor here uh, needs a lever to set it as on, and um, actually we are at zero and zero energy. Okay, and if I uh, use a uh, one of these uh, fuel rod, you can see the energy energy output is by 5U per tick. Okay, and, and if I put another fuel rod, you can see that the output is increased to 20U per tick. This is because um, we sent some annoyed ones. This um, a fuel rod sends a annoyed one, and this a fuel rod sends a annoyed one. And um, to this and and this uh, fuel rod sends a annoyed one to this so that we at least get uh, so that we have at least four annoyed ones um, and every annoyed one um, producing 5 EU per tick and you can see the heat is increasing very very well for the heat we need to manage some heat runs for example and the heat runs in this case Okay, it's um, just a lower thing, and um, in this case, we need an uh, overclocked heat vent to and cool down the core temperature. And um, yeah, you can see durability is um, decreasing very high, so um, that's not not the best setup here. Um, but we we will take a further look. Um, if we put these two fuel rods together, we can get out of it a dual fuel rod. And the dual fuel fuel rod is the same as two normal fuel rods, um, so that we can get out of uh, this dual fuel rod 20 EU per tick. And if I put a second dual fuel rod, we can see the output increase to 60 EU per tick. Okay, and uh, that's the same variant um, if we use a quad fuel rod, and you can see what fuel fuel rod is um, using 60 EU per tick. And the MOX uh, variant is um, using um, is putting out uh, some more energy, and in this case we are getting out a uh, nine instead of five, and um, not twenty. We are getting out a uh, thirty-seven, and in the quad fuel what we can uh, see that we get out one hundred and nineteen, um, and that's um, yeah. <laughs> that's increased by um, how hot the core temperature is and yeah that's um that's the fuel rod um i hope i could tell you something about it thanks and bye